guys what is up and welcome back to the channel today what we're gonna be taking a look at as you can see it is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Eastman uh, Splinter here based on the Mirage uh, style Splinter and I gotta say first when I saw this figure I really was not expecting um, this figure to be as good as what it is and personally i really didn't think that it was going to be one of my favorite splinter but it is um possibly the favorite my favorite splinter that i do own now i do own um the splinters from the playmates um line and i do own the NECA splinter from the movie and i gotta say i really do enjoy this splinter and i do think we do get what we pay for, if not more, with this figure. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and check out the accessories after that. Alright guys, I hope you do enjoy that little um, unboxing clip. Um, but before we do get into the accessories, I want you guys to, right now about this time, you should see a blacked out image of um, a picture of the next figure that I will be reviewing. But however, it is blacked out so you guys can take a guess um, what figure is the next review going to be on. So basically right now go ahead on the comments down below and guess what you think um who do you think that figure is and i'll be revealing um that figure at the end of the video so um don't skip go ahead and guess on the comments down below and that's going to be the figure that i will be re reviewing next so um good luck if you got it right that's what's up um i'll give you a hint it is a it is one of the um good uh good guys so that's about as much of a hint i'm gonna give you guys and it is a figure that i possibly review once in this channel but it is um how would i call it it is a figure i review once in this channel and it is a a playmates version of the figure now i got the um the little subject version of that figure so that's as much as i'm gonna give you guys um and let's get into the um the little accessories all right the accessories is freaking awesome and amazing guys so i'm gonna start off with um the miniature version of splinter baby splinter this thing is amazing, guys. There is no articulation on these baby figures, but none needed because they're just supposed to be kind of like a statue. So you don't need articulation. I don't see why would you need an articulation on this, but the tail does move. The tail does move. So that's as much articulation you're going to get with this um and why i love the these accessories is because obviously you guys can do some awesome shorts pictures like beautiful beautiful accessories check that out tcri freaking amazing 
no effect on the bottom. It does say, uh, let me see, right over. Of course, when I'm trying to give you guys a look made in China. So you do get the ooze. You do get four identical baby turtles. So they're all the same, but they don't need to be, um, when you're getting this type of quality, I don't really have much to complain about. Obviously, you guys seen my um, my Loyal Subjects RAF review where you do get a lot of accessories, but they're not all that great quality. These are great quality accessories, and this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about accessories. Obviously, I cannot compare um, Loyal Subjects to NECA, though. You cannot compare that company to this one. I love... I love this guy back here. I love the, the fact that he actually has articulation in the mouth, in the legs. Like, you got a full-blown figure right here. This is freaking amazing. I love this, guys. So, you do get that. You do get um, his um, cane, which is awesome. I love it. I love the details on it. Definitely looks like a wooden cane. Looks really, really good, guys. This is what I am talking about, man. And then you do get the teapod. You do get this. Beautiful. And I love the artistic style on it. It's really nice. And then you get the little the cup. It's tiny. This, you guys... Be careful not losing this because you may lose it. So be careful with that. So I'll just put it right in there. Like I said, this is going to make some beautiful pictures and shorts. You do get the little Krang type of brain. I love it, man. Look at that. And I think this type of brain is coming in more figures. So you can um, like army build these little guys. I want to get the Krang that comes with the robot. NECA made it. I really want to get that. And then you do get the accessory hands, right? So these are the hands that he will hold whatever accessories you want him to. And then the ones where he is pointing his fingers at the turtles or at whoever you want him to point the fingers at. So that's cool. Really do enjoy that. Now, those are all the accessories, and they do not disappoint, guys. So let me put them over here, and let's get a better look at um, Splinter. All right, guys, getting into Splinter. Splinter is an awesome figure, guys. This one, I must say, was done actually better, 10 times better than what I thought he would be. Um, I seen videos and I'm gonna tell you I don't know if mine gives it justice because all the videos I've seen um, are good videos I just feel like from the videos that I saw um, I felt like did not give this figure justice when I actually got him in hand I, I was like wow this figure is actually better than what I saw and what I thought he was via the videos so um, definitely it's a, it's a figure that you would have to get your hands on to really f see what um, uh, what I mean when I'm talking about like this is a great figure. So um, this is cloth, obviously. It's great. NECA does great with the cloth-wise material, shirts and whatnot. Um, and then his, his uh, you can see his legs. He doesn't have knee articulation let me see i mean he had like it turns but it doesn't bend um and then he has the feet articulation down there and then obviously wrist articulation elbow uh yes he does have elbow articulation and his face man his face looks freaking great guys i gotta say i do like how his eyes are just colored in in this comic style uh, white and then how he has like you can see the two teeth down here um really awesome i i'm loving it and 
as I showed earlier, I think I showed it earlier, the tail does bend. And not much to say, he is really, really small, guys. This guy is like a vintage style Playmates figure. And some of those may be even, I think, a little bit taller. He is really, really tiny, guys. Um, so bear that in mind. But I feel like... You're going to get your money's worth. If you're interested in him, get him. If you were thinking about getting him, get him. I almost passed on them, but I was like, you know what? NECA really doesn't let me down with figures. So I gave it a shot and I am beyond happy and satisfied that I gave it a shot. Because I would have been, me personally, I would have been dumb to leave this figure being that I have like all these NECA figures and he just completes my collection. And then as you guys can see, like he has all this stuff that you can kind of like create your own if you like, like, I don't know if you guys display your figures, your collectible figures on this, like on a shelf, like in like a scene pose or just um, in a line or however, but you can take great pictures. You can take great shorts, not only with, like you can take advantage of these accessories and use them for your other um, NECA stuff. And like I said, he's freaking great. Here he is holding the cane. I think he's freaking amazing. I think he's awesome, guys. Like, please, if you <laughs> do like these NECA figures, do not pass on him if you collect NECA. Like, if you're going to get one Mirage Necker style figure, I would definitely say get the Splinter. Take advantage of these awesome baby turtles. Take advantage of like the Krang, like all these cool accessories. I mean, I know Necker has the accessory packs that they go for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, right? And then if you missed out on getting them, um, you got to get them from eBay for like 200 bucks, like... It's insane the amount of money that these accessories can go for. And you're only paying $34 and you're getting a figure that's worth it. Plus all these awesome accessories. So do not skip on, on this guy, guys. Like, he is freaking amazing. He is definitely worth it. Let me go ahead and I'm moving this stuff out. So you guys can see what I mean. Like, the ideas that you can just do, you know with these kind of uh accessories is it's a no-brainer to get this figure honestly get him do not pass on him he's definitely worth it just put these stuff over here he's definitely worth it man but there's not much to say about the figure like he's more for he's more for like i said like Things like pictures, things like making shorts or displaying your awesome shelves in an awesome way. But the figure is pretty much simple. He's got his red or brown burgundy cloth here with the brown goldish belt. This does come off. If you guys want to see, I don't, I'm not planning on taking it off. But yeah, they did a great job on this figure. He looks freaking amazing. And like I said, this by far might be the smallest NECA figure from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. He's probably coming under three to four inches, guys. He is definitely not even touching five. Like this figure here is about, well, he's about almost, he's not even six inches, right? But look at that. So that's how tiny this guy's small. This guy's by far nothing big. This guy's really small. So that's how small this guy is. But if you guys want to see, I do own three now um, NECA Mirage type figures from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. And obviously, I have to say these figures are. Listen, I've I did not read these comics. These. A mirage comics and stuff like that but these figures by far are worth worth the buy you know and it's crazy because i got into these type of figures through just collecting the regular turtle figures like i wasn't even interested in these comic figures but as i got them slowly and i started off with the shredder because i 
hands down wanted this shredder. I just thought this was an awesome version to, version of the shredder. So I did want it, him at least. The problem is standing these figures up is can be a pain. But you guys can see how... Let me just hold them real quick so you guys can take a good look at how these figures look together. They look really good. I would not... Um, I wouldn't pass on them. They do need, you do need some like stands because their feet are not that great to stand. You do need your own stands, which sucks. The NECA does not include stands with their figures, you know. Being that they are selling to a more a collectible community, they should include stands. I get why Playmate doesn't because it's aimed for more kids and, and stuff like that. But when you got toy lines like NECA, which are made, for collectors they are collectibles they should include a stand so we won't have these issues of these figures falling um but that's just me complaining you know they don't need to but yeah guys this is awesome he's an awesome figure this is an easy short one because mainly i just wanted to show you guys uh what this figure offer which is awesome accessories but like I said, guys, do not pass on him. He is, he's freaking great. I'm going to see if he can hold this um, teapod with um, the regular hands that he does come with. And yes, he can. Yes, he can. So you do not need to change them. You can leave the ones he brings to hold uh, the teapod, which I figure you can because this is gripping hands are way too, like, you know, closed to be able to grip that. I mean, you can, but I figured this one would be better. And here's Tiny Splinter. And here are the baby turtles, man. So I am going to start collecting more of these type of figures, more of these um, Mirage comic style figures. Um, and I've passed on the uh, Foot Soldier like twice already or three times. Something tells me to army build those though. Like I would like to get four at least because they do. There's like four different ways you can display that foot soldier. And it brings tons, way more accessories than this. So I am interested in at least getting four foot soldiers to make an awesome type of display, you know. Um, But in order to do that, I do want to finish off the line and get the other one. So I don't know. It's just something I am thinking of. But yeah, guys, don't pass on this guy if you're collecting NECA um, Mirage figures. Do not pass or sleep on Splinter. He is definitely an awesome figure. And the more and more I collect these uh, turtle figures, the more and more I like less the turtle figures and more like figures that are not the turtles like Splinter or Shredder or Foot Soldier or a Krang, like, I don't know why, but, um, it's just, it's grown on me a lot more, and just to see, like, Mondo Gecko, or, or figures like that, that are still turtle figures, but are not Ninja Turtles, and seeing them getting appreciated just as much the turtles do, that's pretty cool to me, um, but yeah, guys, that is the review, don't sleep on him, he is awesome 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 and that being said guys i will be showing you guys the figure that was in the picture so without further ado guys the next review will be that's right the what is it the loyal subjects april o'neill now, I don't know how good this figure is going to be, but, you know, I want to give her a chance because, like I just said, the more and more I get into collecting turtle figures, the more and more I kind of enjoy figures that are not the turtle figures and that may be underrated or overlooked. So, granted, I was planning on getting the Super 7 one, and, or the NECA one. I definitely would get the NECA one or Super 7 if I see them in store. But I was planning on ordering them 
but before that those are more at a higher price tag so and they're worth it but i kind of wanted to check her out because the only version that i do got of her is the playmates one from like the vintage reissue one so this one to get a accurate um animated version with the yellow suit and everything and just this one is something that i'm looking forward to like reviewing and honestly doing some awesome shorts and putting her on the turtle van and stuff like that and if i do like this one maybe look into the super seven or NECA one which are 10 times better um but yeah guys this is gonna be the next figure so if you got that right you're the man or girl if you got that right um that's awesome guys and that's a good guess if you did get that right by knowing the figures that i review and knowing that when you review her once in this channel that means you are really staying up to my channel and that means i really do appreciate you so thank you for that um but no guys thank you all for watching subscribing liking um and let me know guys if you think my videos are too long i just like to give you as much information as I can about the figure on in one video. So I know they're getting kind of long, but I, I don't mind making them um, pretty long, especially if you guys are going to um, watch the whole video. And like I said, I want to give you guys all the information I can about a figure in one video. So that being said, guys. I thank you guys once again for watching, viewing, subscribing, and I appreciate all the support. And I'll catch you guys on the April O'Neil, The Loyal Subject Review.